Thanks for rolling up to Blue Marley. Hitting on uh, one of these old school dab out of bars of joints. Had to put some more dabs in here, bro. It's uh, jump into the day, Cindy. Two attorneys now charged with the illegally exporting medical marijuana out of Oklahoma, accused of using their own employees as ghost owners at grow operations. News Force Kaylee Olivas joins us with the details. Kaylee. Um, let's see. She's in Oklahoma. All right. Uh, uh, we had seen some shit. Um, I, I just, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't too long ago. We're, um, we we're looking at, we we're looking at, um, what it, what it takes to get into the Oklahoma, Oklahoma business. Now, now, Oklahoma, Oklahoma is, is kind of like the threshold is, is small. Uh, twenty five hundred. Um, you had to have some type of uh roots in Oklahoma, and then um, now I mean you you can you can get your license and shit. Um, they they like basically not denying nobody who meets those criteria. Um, the problem with that was that um, there was motherfuckers coming in here going up to Oklahoma and saying, "Yo, listen, bro, I'm gonna give you this twenty five hundred. All you gotta do is fill out the app." Get the license and then you know what I'm saying? You uh you own the shit. I'm gonna run everything and we just gonna break you off. Um that was that was the way that you know what I mean some of the problems that they had seen were foreshadowed happening. And it seems like they might have caught somebody doing the shit. Well, Kevin, what started out as a com conspiracy investigation four months ago now leaves Logan Jones and Eric Brown of Jones Brown Law Firm to face eleven different charges. Turning over one leaf at a time since 2021 led the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics to just over 20,000 illegally grown marijuana plants set. Turning over one leaf at a time. That was the way you wanted to bring in that paragraph, open up this story, trying to be witty with some marijuana humor. All right. To be exported out of the state. But those exploiting the laws this time are the ones who are supposed to represent them. So they sent 20,000 plants out of state. Mm, 20,000 is not a big number. I mean, it's not a small number, but, but like, yeah, it's, it's not a small number, but. All right. It revealed that Logan Jones and Eric Brown directed medical marijuana businesses to sign consulting agreements with Jones Brown's employees who would act as ghost owners of the medical marijuana operations. As OB. But how. How, how detrimental is that, though? Like you still getting Oklahomans to own these businesses. True, true, true. You know what I mean? The lawyers, the lawyers are the money behind it. But like, like, is that how much of a crime is that? BN took a deeper look, finding over 400 fraudulent marijuana licenses were flagged, all tying back to Jones Brown Law Firm. The consult. Oh shit! Hold on, cause now, now see, now it's now see, now we getting, now we getting ugly, bro. Now we getting ugly, bro. Four hundred, y'all niggas try to buy four hundred. <laughs> These niggas try to get every goddamn everybody in that bitch. To fucking uh get a weed license, and they want they want to put the money behind it. Yeah, these niggas, these niggas is doing too much, bro. These niggas is doing too much. Consulting agreements that the client of that law firm would pay would uh, call for them to pay $3,000 per license to the law firm. Jones and Brown now indicted by a multi-county grand jury. Logan Jones and Eric Brown are each charged with the following. One count of conspiracy to cultivate a controlled dangerous substance. Six counts. What is the controlled dangerous substance? We 
Yo, yo, really doing that? Saying that we, well, what, what, Oklahoma, Oklahoma's only medical. All right. All right. So the only medical, so I guess they would consider it that since, since, since it ain't right. Counts of offering false or forged instruments for recordation. Three counts of cultivation of a controlled dangerous substance and one count of a pattern of criminal offense. The message Attorney General O'Connor. One count of a pattern of criminal offense. Is that like is that like some low level Rico shit? Is looking to spread with this case? No one is above the law. These charges brought today should send a loud and clear message to anyone engaging in criminal operations in Oklahoma that we will find you and we will prosecute you. Now this investigation is just one of hundreds the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics team is currently looking at. As for this case, their digging continues. I don't know. I don't know what they're going. What they're going to get? I don't know what they're going to get. I mean, he found a lawyer who uh who uh is 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 going around paying motherfuckers to not me uh, uh uh get get business licenses. He's paying niggas to get business licenses. And then like like it actually actually it don't even look like the law firm is. It looked like the law firm is, is representing somebody else who's now I mean uh going around buying them shit. Now these niggas is in hot water, now I mean for some bullshit that somebody else is doing. Well shit, it ain't even bullshit that somebody else is doing. These niggas is doing the bullshit. I I don't even see the big deal, bro. Cause what if what if these motherfuckers who now I mean is getting the funding behind that shit? What if they really wanted them, bro? And you know what I mean, like what if they went to the law firm reaching out for a backer or some shit? I don't know, bro. I, I just don't think that's just like you know what I mean, no big to do. That shit ain't no fire, bro.